When something feels insane at the time, <laughs> I did! I'm doing a hundred break! And then with the benefit of hindsight, it only feels more and more insane. The bickering. Do, 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 do. The attention. 220! Oh my god! The wild plays. Nice. Nice, bro! Nice! Each player's individual greatness. Nice. Get the f out! Yes! Wash it, please! Don't ever fucking contest me! Because you'll get one VC like that! But mostly, the audacity to pursue their goal in the craziest way imaginable. This is the story of Mongrel, Mitro, and Taysen. When the right characters come together at the right time in the right place, you can expect a great story. Harry meeting Ron and Hermione at Hogwarts. Luke Skywalker meeting Obi-Wan Kenobi and Han Solo on Tatooine. The forming of the Fellowship of the Ring. Standing with all these great stories is Mongrel, Mitro, and Taysen in Season 4 FNCS. Let's set the scene. Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 4, affectionately known as a Stark Season, was a second peak of Fortnite. The pump was back. There was Marvel theme with POIs, a battle pass, and mythic abilities. And then Fortnite turned good to great with an incredible mid-season update. Video, we have a huge Fortnite update that brought the now iconic Stark Industries onto the map one of Fortnite's most beloved POIs. It came with a fall biome, a vault, mega chest, and supercars. And now for the characters. This was Trio FNCS, and EU had some stacked ones. FNCS solo invitational champion Giannis teamed up with FNCS duo champion Andalex and x -Suiz. Flick, Anas, and Thomas HD, three superstars who came together looking for their first championship. Benji and Mr. Savage teamed up with Lechi, and finally, the story's protagonist, established stars, Mongrel and Mitro teaming up with the reigning solo FNCS champion, Taysen. He's with Taysen on all walls, but he oh sees everything goodness. through, finds it. While it was grand finals that people remember, the lead up had its fair share of memories. The map had two power POIs, Doom's Domain and Stark Industry. The off-spawn fights for each were massive during qualifying weeks. Benji, Savage, Lechi were facing off at Doom's Domain with Akra, Rizan, and Noah Riley. These fights were super memorable, with both teams having great moments. Oh, oh come on, bro! And then things escalated. Stream sniping, like <laughs> <laughs> bro. You guys, they're in this stream, bro. Like I I'm talking about, and I'm looking at my friends, this, and they remove me, bro. Like, <laughs> I can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. Benji and team actually moved drop spots in the middle of heats, but Aqua pushed them. Yeah, they left. They, 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 no, they left. They left. They left the game. They left the game. They're streaming and leaving the game. Like what? Please, they like they, they <laughs> actually just do it to get banned. Aqua wound up getting suspended. Though Aqua claimed it was for something he tweeted. Meanwhile, at Stark Industries. Mongrel, Mitro, and Taysen were also contested. Not a great plan. And while it got dramatic, they locked it down in style. Magro, Mitro, and Taysen managed to have Stark uncontested for Grand Finals! And since Mongrel streamed all the qualifiers and cash cups, the world got a glimpse into their interesting team dynamic. Ooh, Taysen wants to do the god IGL. Do we listen to the IGL, Taysen? Hmm, let's have a think about this though. I think we listen to Mongrel because it's the most skills right now. Yeah. <laughs> and the clips go on. Bow, 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 bow. 
Oh, no. And on. Oh, right, Taser, we're not hearing many comments from the little IGL dude. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Oh, what are you guys doing, man? What are you doing? I need some comms, though. No, no, wait. We're not even saying anything. Yeah. So could a team this dysfunctional actually win a championship? And what was at stake for each of them? Mitro was one of the first great European competitive stars. He can actually send him... Oh! No way! No way! <laughs> and at the beginning of 2019, had his hat in the ring for the best player in the world. Uh, we actually asked all of our competitors here in the arena who they thought was the best Fortnite player in the world. Mitro. 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 He qualified to do a World Cup with Mongrel, but was not able to qualify for solos. And with his failure to win FNCS after a dominant run in Season X, Mitro needed another tournament major win to secure his legacy. Today, we all know Taysen. He's the highest earning online player in Fortnite history, a five-time EU FNCS champion, including two solo FNCS. I think Taysen just won. But at this point, he was pretty new to the scene. He was not able to qualify for World Cup, but people started to take notice after a fifth place at the Solo Invitational Finals, which he followed up with his first FNCS win in Chapter 2 Season 3. And then he teamed up with Mitro and this legend to continue his rise. He needs no introduction. Fortnite's greatest prodigy. Mixed insane gameplay with viral personality, qualified for both Solos and Duos World Cup. <laughs> and placed well in both modes, proving himself as one of the world's best players. Came close to winning FNCS in Season X as part of the iconic MMB. And close again in Squad FNCS. So his quest for getting a championship was getting an insane amount of attention. Like number one on Twitch, and 10 million views on YouTube level attention. And like Mitro, it would be legacy defining. Many people began to question Mongrel's position as one of the best players in the world as he was yet to win a championship. The stage was set. Going into grand finals, predictions were all over the place. We're gonna go straight to Mongrel solo clutching. The Lone Rangers of the EU! And bang! Rojo gets bopped right there from Mongrel! But CRR, Wolfies, and Kinzel taking the win. In game two, Mongrel takes height and style. And here he goes! Mongrel going in! Mongrel with the bop! Mongrel with the knock! And then... Down currently sitting on seven eliminations and just trying to finish this one out. Game number two in Europe is going to go to taste it, Mongrel in Mitro. It is just a matter of time. Duck on top tries to make a play. Exqueeze gets swatted down. Andalus gets swatted down. Last player out in the zone. He's tagged out. They find the elimination two. That's Janice cleaned up there. 10 eliminations in the victory royale. Mantled their way up to the top of the leaderboard. In game three, confidence. At this part of the competition, it's really well and they catch Milan. I don't know. Milan, you just got beamed. He was walking out the front door and he gets hit with the clown emote. Oh my goodness. They're feeling it, sundown. Mitro takes his turn to solo clutch. As Mitro picks up an elim on the low ground, but Taysen goes out. And now Mitro goes up with the shockwave, crash pads himself back in, and now he's up on the high ground with a huge 100 oh! into a 104. And Mitro in the bottom right hand corner has soul ground. So control of high ground as a solo. Oh my goodness, Mitro, you madman. You have height right now, and the world is your oyster. What an unbelievable play to take it. But it's not no a and a what? No way! With the big time knock, Mitro is cooking up here, and we're getting into the final moments. A top two situation. And Alex Yanis and Duck on top X Squeeze are gonna have to hold down as Mitro does go down. But Yanis, Andalex, and X Squeeze take the win and jump into first. Game four ended with Lecce coming ever so close. Unfortunately, this would be the peak of the tournament for Mr. Savage, Benji, and Lecce. To close out day one, Mongrel, Taysen, and Mitro took height. Best from start to finish, wire to wire. We called them the favorites. We called them one of the best trios in the world. If Mongrel's on his feet, he is mowing down the competition. And from the top down, E11 Taysen, Phase Mongrel, and Liquid Mitro says Europe is ours, and you're going to have to pry it 
from our hands here. And Dreda falls like a fly. I drop down on the backside. Sturzix and Vettel are going to try and 2v3 clutch it up. But honestly, they're heading in to a buzzsaw of our top trio. The Stark Industries veterans closing it out here. And can they get yet another victory royale to cement that top spot on the leaderboard going into day two? Sturzix goes up to challenge, but he just gets swatted back down. And you have to think this is just a matter of moments, Sancho. A matter of moments, and there it is! The moment complete! The victory royale! Two of them here at the Grand Finals, accrued by Mongrel, Tayson, and Mitra. Ending the day in first place. But they would be tested on day two. In game six, they built a healthy lead, and it grew in game seven. And this is why what? Mitro drops down, Tayson and Mongrel shooting fish in a literal barrel of the zone. In game eight, they finally got contested and went down off spawn. Flake, Thomas HD, and Anas win. First place was back in play. And Thomas HD clutches it up there. Well done, Louie, going down in 15 eliminations. In game nine, they are shambles early, fall right after, but eke out a few elimination points. And there it is is down they go 21st for mongo micho and tasten they get six points before we move on with the main story we just wanted to show hen flashing his future greatness oh my goodness hands on height the trio is now between the sandwich right now of thomas ht and hen hen is raining down some fire and they're gonna go down into the arms he has of no thomas build. ht hen and thomas pick up elims no build for Tyson. hen this is an opportunity! An opportunity! Yes! What a play! Up and gets Thomas HD and Munch! Oh my goodness, Hen! On to game 10, and a much tighter tournament. Mitro, Mongrel, Tayson switched up their spot. Actually, we're gonna swing Hello? way away from Stark here. Mongrel and Tayson out in the middle of nowhere. And go down again! The closer it gets, people finally start wondering if we will see a historic collapse. I'm very concerned that Janice is going to take this away, right? His trio is only 20 points behind. This is striking distance. They can do this. And then they mix up their drop again in game 11 and go down. But Giannis, x Squeeze, and Andalix, the second place team, cannot fully convert on this opportunity. And in game 12, Tayson made the bold call to land Sweaty Sands and contest Giannis's team. And they go down before securing any placement points. Mongrel on 20 HP, Mitro on 20 HP, and when it looked like they had it all boxed up, when they had the trophy already on the shelf, the chickens were counted before the eggs were hatched. And now it all comes crashing down. The door is wide open. Andalix, Janus, X Squeeze, AKA Duck on Top. They only got one of those eliminations, but the one point is now gonna close the gap. And now the math begins. They were 20 points down to start. Can they find the 19 points to make the difference here? And on this day, history was made. Mark Twain said, truth is stranger than fiction, but it is because fiction is obliged to stick to possibilities. Truth isn't. Like, sub, and watch our other videos.